Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Past Season Skin. We're just continuing on our experience of Watch Dogs 2. In the ocean. So, yeah, we'll see. I don't remember. I was pretty smashed. Look, <laughs> at the hacker space. Where? Check your pics and figure it out. Here we go, we'll hang over on the floor. Time to explore. Whose place am I in? <laughs> Don't even know where the fuck I am. You and Gonna get pulled for copyright. Yes, it's copyright. Yeah. <laughs> uh. oh, it feels so good. So, so good. I guess I was lit, huh? <laughs> like Mardi Gras. Go get yourself something to wear, and I'll tell you where to go next. Oh, and you'll need your phone ready for operations, so hit the store and download your apps before you get here. Damn, walk of shame on my first day. I can Oh, this makes it interesting. I like the idea of actually being able to buy an app and pull it down. Actually have your uh, self able to do a number of things. That's a pretty, pretty... That's a pretty useful little tool. Uh, media player? No, we don't need that. Turn to my... That. Uh, what else do we need? Uh, camera? No, no. Ubisoft Club? No, no. Yep, that's the only thing I needed was really the map system, isn't it? That's activity, so I can find things. Yeah, let's be fine. We'll just go where we need to go, I think. Buy new pants at a clothing store. That's what I needed. I just need to get some money. Need the money! Need the money! Be on your car! Find the money! So where am I meant to be going is the question. Um, oh, I need to find a clothing store. Oh, uh, that's a restaurant. Well, how do I actually open the filters? And locations, activities, items. So locations, I need a clothing store. Um, is the nearest one. Shop, Auto Elite, Sailboat, Yacht Club. That's nice. I really want to go to the Yacht Club. Um, I'm assuming I'm trying to find a goddamn clothing store. That's a tourist kiosk. Where the fuck is the... Okay, okay. Do I need to find these things first before I can actually use them? More of a concern. place to get food, but I want to actually find somewhere I can buy clothes, dude. Research point. What's a research point? I'm sure these are all going to be wonderful little distractions. So, where's this party? No clue. Apparently, they don't reveal the address until, like, the last minute. Layla said the last party was in an old warehouse in Dogpatch. Man, it brings in people, man. Big names, too. Layla got a selfie with the lead singer of Labia. Labia? Damn, we gotta get all over this party. Whoops, I just got pinged. Is it about the party? Four, come on, four! Okay, so is something going on here that I don't know about? This is research, so I'm assuming it's something that's reasonably interesting. Um, 
Oh, right. Okay. But I need to find where that line goes to. And it's all the way around here. Right, there we go. I get back up there. Um, okay, but this way. Running, 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 run. On this floor. Yep. Up the floor. Around the floor. Off the floor. Off the wall. Hello there, folks. Yeah, we're cool. What the fuck? Where is it? There? Okay. Can't reach it from here. So, what does this expect me to do with information? Ah! So you just fall the line around again? Over you go. I climb up. And get there. What am I meant to do? Right. I am slightly confused because it says it's right there. I can see it right there. I want to get to it right there. Hmm. I don't know how to climb to right there. Oh, wait a second. All right, so it's on that I can't do yet because I can't get access to this thing to be able to get myself scissors lifted up. To the All right. Okie dokie. Let's go and find me some pants. <coughs> like one pants store in the entire area or so on. Why can't I just get some goddamn pants? Okay, so that's the reason why there's very few stores in this area. This is a big ass map. That's a fucking lot of places I could go to. Um, so imagine I need to go to town and I need to find somewhere. Close. Come on, come on. All right, do you know what? Open up the filters. Go in here. And turn off you, turn off you, turn off you, yeah, leave you on, and leave you on, and that narrows it down a fair bit. Okay, fast travel into that one. Don't give a crap. So you can fast travel between locations pretty easily and fast, which is kind of convenient. Uh, makes it so much easier to get around, because if I had to go and find all those places first, it would be a pain in the hole. Kinda of getting this, I'm enjoying it. No entering. Yep, now I'm going to buy some clothes. Oh hey! Woohoo! Hey! Hello there, people. Woo! Bum 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 little 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 bum 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 hey bum bum oh oh bum 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 Find those. And I can get stuff from my wardrobe. Really? I don't have anything that I have in my wardrobe. There we go. There's my Twitch streamer one. <laughs> uh, might as well throw in the Twitch streamer for everything. I like the pixel art one. I just kind of like the ones over there. And hat wise, that one. And footwear. Quit streamer footwear. And glasses. Yeah, we're going to be fine without any of those. Boom! We are now ready dressed. Alright, Sitar. So where you at? Sending you the location. 
and the passcode for the door. It's a backward club with the real action is that anyway. The high wire ladies are back there. They go up front for two shows, and they have dancers performing all night in the back space. They've got a new Right, have I got a location I need to go to specifically? Because these are all just listing me a bunch of fucking locations, man. Uh. So my dad was on this crazy rant last night about... Where I need to be. Okay. Okay. Well, need to get myself onto a vehicle. Let's get myself on the road. The barefoot stuff is just... Get the road, I can steal somebody's car! Somebody's car, then get to where I need to be. Or I can just take one of these park ones. Nope, there's no park ones. We're all just vehicles. Oh, there we go. Pickup truck! You're mine! Going. Hey, Can I get the music to stop? There we go. Ah, come on. I can't see the controls. There we go. Wait, what? I thought it was actually just hiding the car. Oh, that's better. So this is the fact that I want to avoid getting um, copyright strikes on my um, audio, but obviously it's probably going to get made for that one little bit that was just already there. Wow, this is... N the, the driving in this doesn't feel quite as uh, responsive as one might hope. Maybe it's just because I'm driving a big-ass pickup truck. But that feels very, very, very floaty. But um, yeah, I'm sure probably other vehicles handle a lot better. That's break, breaking the law, breaking the law as we drive, breaking the law, breaking the law as we drive. Boom. Um, steal from you. And uh, steal from you. Oh, I might just uh, steal from you, but uh, make that work. Uh, just turn off that. Light that was there. Oh crap! Whoops! <laughs> hmm. That might have been a mistake. <laughs> uh, let's just go around here. Uh, sorry, excuse me. Uh, we'll just get out of your park here. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Just a bit of a tight squeeze. Just coming through. Um. Yeah. That made it. That was easy. That was easy to get around. Just like a glove. You know? Um, this way. Dodging the things. And steal money as we go. Just grabbing shit. Boom. Make that something dangerous. Woo! Thank you. Bought it up for some reason, I don't know what I'm doing. Just randomly hitting stuff, randomly with my hacking tools. This is useful, you know. Oh yeah, make you blow up. Boom. Make you go wrong. Yeah, that's excellent. All that stuff. Oh, we're there? Happy days. So where am I going? Um, oh, somewhere around here. Never mind. Thought I had it. Searching the city. There, but oh, it must be around this. Oh, wow. I did that. Whoops. My bad. He's gonna play with us. What's going on? Oh, yeah. It is 50 meters that way. I meant to find a way in there. Oh, I like the graffiti artwork. It's kind of cool. Something back here. Here. 
nada de ser. Hiding underneath. Got news for you. The wolf. Oh, pizza clothing. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm figuring it's actually, yeah, hiding in here somewhere. No, again, still have no idea where I'm actually meant to be in. God damn it. I'm just gonna use this camera just to see where the fuck I'm going. Because there doesn't seem to be anything I'm meant to be doing. Where is everybody's kinda watching that? Cool. Suppose that's what people would do, they would actually rubberneck at it. Um can't go up there or anything. Throw your backflips there, job. Um I'm just gonna stand here and be lost. Like in your Euclo. Fair play to you. As you play away in your youth. So, where am I meant to be going here? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Aha, I got you now. Boop, in we go. Yeah, you know who it is. Well, fuck you too, Graffiti. I'm getting U points constantly for stuff in this. I was imagine this game's probably like heavily, heavily focuses on trying to get more people into the U play club. Yo! Finally. So just yeah, finally. It took me fucking. It took me forever to get here. A long standing project. All right, you need two things to take down Bloom. You need to get people to rally behind your cause and separate you from the trolls. And we need bots, and a lot of them to handle the data CTOS is processing. Thank you, Josh. We spent all night modifying our app so you can get followers to download the app, and we can use their processing power for the cause. This is happening? It's really happening? Mm -hmm. Man, this is happening. You better get to it. <laughs> Hell yeah, man! Barbarians are at the gate, ready to bust some Roman heads. Yeah, we're gonna focus on some high-profile ops, playing for exposure and laughs to get people to download our app. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't worry, because that was something fun. <laughs> fun. Is that what we're going to do? We're going to hack what? ourselves with humor? Alive and dry. I wasn't sure after your moonlight swim. Come here. You've got to check this out. Okay. What you got, buddy? Behold, our very own open source research app. So, like, all of us here pool vulnerabilities that we find, and we encourage everyone to share their work, their research, etc. Okay, so what's the research app do? Widen our skill set? Make us irresistible to the gender of our choice? What, so it's like a I know kung fu kind of deal? If kung fu was a gender and not so 1999? Yep. Alright, so we actually have different things we can do. Okay. Um, this two. Okay, so that increases our watch. Uh, so this actually just makes us be able to do more stuff. Um, alright. Make cars go where we want them to. Oh, well, that's very nice. Wow. It's a fairly big tree to actually kind of like work your way through. This uh, auto takedown. Um, figure gates and turn when enemy vehicles pass nearby. Oh, that's damn useful. Okay, so I might actually take the city disruption one and actually be able to do that auto takedown thing. That sounded about right. Oh, 
Cool. That means I actually have enough points to do that. Great. And I don't know how many points I have to actually do anything else after doing that. Yeah, I spent all the points that I had. Never mind. That was useful. That means that if I'm getting chased, I can actually be able to knock people off the goddamn road, which is damn useful. But, um, I have no idea how important that is until I actually start doing shit. The original Chicago DedSec has coordinated operations, everybody mostly working towards the same goal. Rumors say that the leaderless group actually has somebody upstairs calling the shots. The Council of Daves. I can't say if it's true or not, but somebody's focusing their efforts. I know because I studied everything about them, even ran a few of their ops. I wanted to emulate them, try to figure out what worked for them and apply it to us. So we've been looking at this new guy, calls himself Retro. Now I like his style, spent some time in Oakland. In fact, that's where you're in some of his hacker credit. I read everything I could about it when it was going down. The home domain center had to deal with Homeland Security. They rolled out cameras in Oakland and started stockpiling data on everybody. Somehow Retro got targeted by the thing. Behold, the wonders of technology. Delightful. This is the army of printers. It is capable of pumping out an arsenal of little weapons. Voila! Hipster merchant of death. Except I'm no hipster. You keep telling yourself that. Now try to make something. But don't blow us up. So we ended up with community service. He says it wasn't a big deal because he got to work with kids. Taught them the truth about the system in place. Probably the best lesson they've ever learned. Oh, right. Cool. He data mined them, hacked into the accounts of their key members, exposed every little thing that. So it's a 3D printer that can build electronic circuits and stuff as well. Man, that's really impressive. Essentially, it's a. Essentially, it's a Star Trek replicator that we actually get access to. Fair play. Oh yeah. Oh, I crammed that right up my ass. I'm gonna buy all of the free weapons just so I can have them in hand. Did yourself a goddamn gun. Jesus. This isn't doing anything well for our um, society that actually remind them, like, yeah, you can just buy it. You can print a gun. Pretty sure that's all me done and sorted for now. I printed all the things I need. Printed my gun. Printed everything else. Do I go over here and talk to these people. Yes, I do. Let's talk about Satara. She's been driving. Good to have another brother here. Good to be here, man. Are you all hackers? Yeah, kind of a basic requirement to get invited into the hacker space. But we all have our specialties, like Josh over there. Always building shit that shouldn't work. Now he's trying to build this big ass drone. And wrench? Good engineer too. But better at breaking shit apart. And yo, Satara? <laughs> Sis got skills as an artist and a graphic designer. Without her, dead sex walking around without a face or voice. What about you? What's your superpower? Tactical coordinator or cat herder. Take your pick. I make dead sex go where it has the most impact. You heard of Prime 8? Those are some real dirty hacking motherfuckers. Yeah, I've brushed up against them before. It wasn't pleasant. All right, that's what I like to hear. Link up with me when you're ready to do this, and I'll fill you in. There's okay. Someone running ops against Prime 8. 
Bet they'd love your help. It's something, right? This whole place is something. We used to keep track of news feeds on here, but now it's our follower wall. So it knows if we're trending? No, no, no. It's based on hard values. How many people downloaded our app, how much processing power we have access to, you know. <laughs> nice. And speaking of which, we're downloading the DeadSec app into your phone as we speak. When it's ready, open it up, click the suggested op, and hit the park outside so we can test it. Sounds good. One more thing. I put a reminder on your phone so you remember what we're gunning for. Get enough processing power to take down Blue. Okay. That's right. Done. So we've been looking at this new guy, calls himself Retro. Now I like his style. Spent some time in Oakland. In fact, that wrench. <laughs> Man, what to say about this guy? Some freaky shit going on right there. I'd like to say he's actually a sensitive, charming guy beneath the harsh exterior. But I'm pretty sure he's a fucked up motherfucker all the way through. I don't even know who first recruited him. He just started showing up at local hacker spaces and building his tools of destruction. At first, I thought he was trying too hard. Like he was a FBI plant or something. But no agent is gonna pull the kind of suicidal stunts this guy does. I think the truth is, Wrench doesn't care if he dies. But he's not going quietly. Even so, I'm glad we've got the wrench on our side. One of the group's biggest problems is lack of GSD. Getting shit done. The wrench is pure GSD, and he brings his own sledgehammer. He's not some dumb thug either. I've seen some of his code. He's legit. Probably why he's interested in dead sick and not some street gang. You know what? I take that back. He might actually belong to a street gang. Who knows? One thing I do know about wrench, the man hates Bloom. I mean, hates them. I can't get the why from him. It's obvious he wears the mask to avoid facial recognition, but what's he hiding from? He's not saying. I've got a wild feeling the wrench turns out to be like Bloom grandson or nephew or something, and that's pretty much why he hates him, is because he's actually part of the family. It's also one of the reasons why he's such a good engineer. He has all the toys to play with. Oh, hell, that's a cool statue. Is this like a Games Workshop store? Oh, uh, tabletop store. That's a nice touch. We'll have all day, you know. Okay. Move it. We're running to the park and do what we need to do. Oh. The app's downloaded and I'm in the park. Uh -huh. What am I testing? Start profiling things around you. People, devices. See what you can pull from them. That's what helps us figure out our next ops. And running ops that are important to people is how we get them interested in DedSec. The more followers download our app, the more intel we get. It's the circle of life. Oh, and see if you can find some components to help us with our research. Keeps the merchant. <sighs> the app is your data mining tool. Of death. Okay, okay, I got this. So what now? Up to you, man. You're free to do whatever catches your eye. We post ops to the DeadSec app, and doing them helps us get followers. And followers are our Skrilla. Followers mean computers, which boosts our processing power, which lets us do bigger and better ops. organization New Dawn is accusing Oakland City Councilor Miranda Kamei of defamation. In a recent interview, the councilor had described the organization as, quote, a fraudulent pyramid scheme. The organization seems to have fought back with more than just lawyers. The councilor's private life was recently revealed when medical records of the councilor's transgender treatments were mysteriously released to the media. A spokesperson for New Dawn said that the organization had nothing to do with the leaked medical records and in her statement accused Councillor Kamei of desperately seeking attention. It was 
trip, man. I don't know what happened. I guess I earned it. How do I get them to actually download this goddamn app? I thought I was actually doing that there, now. That sounds like a move for me. Hey, so what's this about Bobo Dakes? You know Bobo's working on a new album, right? Yeah, I heard. Well, you won't get to hear it? Motherfucker Gene Carcaney just put millions on the table to keep it all to himself. What does a big pharma CEO want with a rap album? Dude has a huge Bobo collection. And he probably wants to hang that shit on his wall like a damn trophy. It's just rubbing his money in our faces, bruh. Do you know if Bobo took the deal? He hasn't announced anything yet, but he will. It's a lot of cash. Yeah, maybe there's still time for an intervention. Time for what? I assume you guys have heard of Gene Carcani? He's the shit sack who's on TV laughing about how he's raising the price of leukemia medicine. Yeah, the most hated man in America? Yeah, why do you ask? Guy's a huge Bobo Dakes fan. Must have read Bobo's in town recording new tracks because he's offering millions to keep the album to himself. So stupid. Bobo will never go for it. The real one won't. So we're gonna do it for him. I'm gonna visit Bobo and see if I can borrow some of his new tracks as proof that we're legit. How do we contact Karkani? I need you guys hey, to run through interviews, podcasts, do? whatever. Go Find me some down usable down. lines. We're gonna make a soundboard. Ooh, I love this. So that's what I need to do. Okay. So I need Bobo Dick's phone in San Metro. Well, how do I get there? Is that where I am and where I need to be? That's where I need to be. Where I am. Okay. Rock and roll. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, I know there's a new mission available. I'm going to go to it. In our culture, nobody should be okay with this. Need a car. Mark. Parked. Sweet. The cyber driver trailer just dropped. Oh yeah, sweet. Hey, don't watch it without me. <laughs> Meet you at the hackers wave. I'm on my way. Wow, the driving in this is feeling very, very floaty loose. It doesn't seem to be uh, quite as. Cold as I imagined it to be. So, what we're going to probably do is take another break here on the channel for a uh, commercial as I try and transport myself across to this location for this um, particular mission. So, guys, if you've actually enjoyed watching this bit, you might as well watch us straight through until we finish. Oh, oh. So we finish off this uh, three-hour preview of Watch Dogs 2. I mean, we're only a couple of episodes in, so there's only going to be a couple more left. This is going to be a short mini-series that I'll put all together, but I just thought, like, breaking it up would make it a little bit easier. So if you haven't had enough of Watch Dogs 2, make sure to come back to the channel very, very soon. Now, you do know that you can actually hit the uh, subscribe button up there, and that'll actually allow you to uh, see every episode as it comes out live here on the channel through the subscription box. And also, if you remember to hit the wee... Uh, bell down here at the bottom that'll actually give you a notification to um tell you exactly when a video goes live you don't really need to do that for most channels but i appreciate it if you would do it for mines and of course over here on the side that's actually covering over the top of the gameplay right now is my little list of videos that are recommended for you to check out you can actually come see um playlists or videos again in this series so make sure to check them out thank you very much for watching and i will see all you dudes
in the next episode. Bye.